Can we finally get started? Okay, you have to try eggnog first. Why does it look like you're swallowing medicine or something? That was pretty good. Talking our accent, so you need to put on this ranking Bayesian accent. I mean, it's been hard because like you've been in Sydney so long. So. I understand, but losing your tongue, right, uh, losing your tongue. Welcome everybody to Global Gal. Welcome Global Peeps. I have somebody special on the show with me today. His name is. <laughs> Who was that? What? Hi. Hi. Hi, Global. Global peeps. Global peeps. They don't know that that's what they're called, but that's what they're called. His name is Alex, and Alex comes from Barbados. I want to ask Alex what's his story. So basically, Alex, what do you do, yeah? But before we do that, I want to get to know Alex. I kind of know him because we've hung out like this entire time that we've been in Sydney. But do y'all know him? So who's the first thing you want to know? Uh, what your last name be? <laughs> My last name is Dunks. Dance. That's a common Bajan name. So if you hear Dance and they're from the Caribbean, odds are that they're from Barbados. What part of Barbados are you from? Um, from the south, so I'm like, I live in Christchurch. Okay. But like, my family story is a kind of weird one, kind of complicated. So let me just say, like, my family kind of from St. Philip. So if you're from St. Philip, like, larger yourself, you don't know. What high school you went to? Oh, I went to the best school in the entire country, Queen's College. Like, you know, my QC Massive, if you're listening to this, you already know. What is your favorite? Bayesian meal. This is some sporty, but Chefette pizza. Chefette pizza? Oh, Chefette doesn't like pizza? Hard. When I go home, that's the first thing I stop. Have pizza for me. So I know Chefette is a chicken place. So he talk about pizza from a nah, chicken these place. Men, these men do ice cream, pizza. Like, look, if anybody do it, have a good way. That's all I believe in my heart. Okay, tell us a little bit about what it was like growing up in Barbados. Been nice. I ain't like to you, Bim nice. Like I ain't gonna sell nobody Bim. Like y'all already probably sold. But um Barbados nice. My grandmothers, like, they were really influential in my life. Okay. One grew up in like Bob Saul, the other one grew up in Britain. So um, and I grew up in Green Hall, that's where I live. So I just felt Barbados like was the perfect balance to like, you know, I don't wanna say good and bad, but I said perfect balance to like learn about yourself. Cause like, you know, you grew up in Graham Hall. I don't really got no neighbors, and if their neighbors is like, you know, some old folks who retired and nobody, <laughs> you know, it's like they're this, not out there playing cricket with you in the yeah, street. Yeah, this this pretty much propaganda thing. But then you go about, so you know, the boys run about picking mangoes on trees and throwing rocks at yeah. them. So I just like, you know, had that real island life. You know, going to the beach, like riding All your bicycle time. to the beach. Yeah. You know, you're going out snorkeling, diving for things. Like your mother don't know you're going to the beach, but you're going there. <laughs> You get in trouble for climbing, like, climbing a neighbor tree. Like I, I grew up like that, you know? Yeah. So that was a real island life. Okay. So. We're in Sydney right now. Correct. What are what you doing in Sydney? What oh, are you doing in Sydney? Here, you know? Every time <laughs> exactly. somebody asks me this question. Bring it here. Yeah, every time somebody <laughs> asks me this question, like I literally go, boy, I <laughs> So in what are you? University of Western East Kfield. Oh you went here. Yeah, we care black words, boy, war place, all sorts. Yeah. That's a slogan. So you can know. So, um <laughs> I did history. I did history. In history at UE? Because I just didn't know, like, I was young and I didn't know what I wanted to do. But then this thing came up with um, the nation. It was like, you know, do you think you can be a journalist? You know, you should have sent an application. And like, I ended up working there. And when I was there, I just like travel and like meet, you know, politicians, diplomats, like learn stuff. And after that, I was like, you know what, for sure, I want to. Do this like program. Do, yeah, stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll jump. I guess the question I say I'm doing international law, or rather, I did international law because I sent him my last piece this month. So I did international law masters at UNSW. So how I got in Sydney, I take a long time to answer question. So that's a long answer. time. Like, to know me. Yeah. Watch us. So, <laughs> but it can be worth it. Don't worry. See? Okay. Good yes. things take time. Don't yeah, worry about that. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I want to leave. Yeah. I can't deal with these people here no more, like stress yes, and work yes. and my, my mind was always like three years and move. Done. Pack get that experience pack done. and go and get that, you know, masters and that. So then I was like, look, you know, I want to go somewhere. So look at the UK, look at Europe, look at the US. Yeah, I just stumbled upon UNSW in Sydney. I was like, yo, this program here looked good though. But then like, I, it hit me as a like, bit. that's Australia. <laughs> exactly. In Australia. So I forgot all about it. I went to New York, 
Um, like, when I was over there, they had this woman, she was trying to take pictures of these statues already, and she couldn't do it, like her phone. So she's like, oh, excuse me, can you help me? I was like, yeah, man, like that easy. I didn't say that easy because she wouldn't understand. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, no problem, no worries. <laughs> um, so like, you know, I help her take it, I think. So she said, oh, you know, where you from? I was like, man, I'm from Barbados, blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, where are you from? She's like, from Australia. So I was like, hmm, okay. Yeah. So she's like, why? I was like, I, I've been considering going to school oh, there. Yes, and yes, I yes. just think. She said, like, oh, what school? I was like, oh, you're in SW. She said, like, oh, I went to school there. I was like, nah, fam. What? I was like, nah, bro. I was like, what are the odds, right? On this particular day, I being on this ferry, on this side where this lady is, next to this lady. Exactly. Who, from Australia, I went to school there. So, like, she's telling me about the program and yeah, stuff. Like, she's yeah, like, do yeah. it, do it. I was like, boy, like, if I had a sign that, like, I didn't know what sign is. So, I just decided when I went home, I was like, you know what? As crazy as the song. I can try and make it happen and yeah. So we actually have a mutual friend. Big up to Zachary. Show yourself, Zach. Yes. <laughs> I know Zachary from Antigua and he went to school yeah. with Zachary in Barbados. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm gonna share my story about how we met. All of a sudden I get a message on my phone from Zachary and it's just like, hey, um, what's up, how you doing? And I was like, hey, cool, da 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 da, Sydney. And he's like, hey, I know somebody who's in Sydney right now too, from Barbados. I was like, what? They're like, yeah, he's studying. <laughs> So I was like, send me this person number. As soon as we get a number, me, that's dial. Wap, wap, wap. I said, hi, hello, is this Alex? And they were like, yes. And I'm like, my name is Alyssa, you know, and you don't know who I am. But Zachary, give me a number. And he said, if I'm bad with this and you're in Sydney, it's true. And he said, yes. And I was like, boom, Caribbean party happening this yeah. weekend. You're coming out, this, that, da, 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 da. And there you have it. Yeah. I met Zach at UV. Like, my Zach are real cool. So, like, me and Zach get along for like, I came here after a while, he was like, yo, like, how things going? As a boy, like, in Bilba, I have no Caribbean people, boy, like, it's tough. You know, I went a few places, it was counting, I have no Caribbean people. As I said, man, I feel like no, I didn't know a girl out there. So I said, man, we talking about you know a girl out there, man, we talking about this. He's like, nah, nah, I know a girl. Look, I ain't seen him for a couple of weeks, I ain't know nobody. So, like, an Australian number calling me, I look at my phone, like, honestly, look at my phone, like, what's this? And then, like, I asked him, I was like, hello? She said, hey, this Alice? Yeah. Like, oh, there's Alyssa. I was like, oh. Like. <laughs> so that's how we linked up. And y'all know how I'm big on connections. So it's always about mutual friends. Somebody connects you to somebody. And it was great just to, I mean, see another Caribbean person, hear another accent. I mean, yeah. So jumping right back into studying in Sydney, you started almost a year ago. And now you're at the end of it. I think you're moving back home yeah. in a couple of days. Yeah. Y'all, we were talking for the longest while, like a good 10 minutes, but not gonna lie. Talking, talking, talking. Turns out it wasn't even recorded. We ran out of space on the clip. So in any event, I was asking you about your master's experience. So not just moving to Sydney, but what was it like academically for you? I tried my best to keep it brief, which is hard for me. Must see that. So he made us run out of the, the thing. Fun, interesting, hard, um, challenging. Um, lots of reading. I mean, it's international law. It's law, and it's a master's. So it's doing work, papers, top papers, and top of like yes. research. This, and but it was worth it in the end. Oh no, for sure. Not just like in terms of academics, but then in terms of like just meeting people. You gotta meet people from all over the world. I mean, like you come from the Caribbean, you know, and you meet the regulars. Americans, the Europe. Europe, South well. America, but then you, like, you come here and like, you know you meet somebody from like, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, I met, I met somebody from Iraq, like, Afghanistan, a lot of Pacific Islands. Like, it's like, like you never really heard of, or yeah, you might have heard yeah, of it. But it's, it's, it's literally the name of a place that's because we'll be on Mars. Exactly. Uh, you meet these people and like the way you feel about them in that, like, like the hell are you from? Yeah. Iraq? That's yeah. how they feel about you. like. Barbados. Everybody is exotic and yeah, like, in Sydney. Yeah, so like, you know, so you get me all these people, and so like, you get to then learn like about the world more than just like reading it or watching it on like that video. These people tell you about the practices and cultures and things that they do, and like sometimes you can find similarities. Like, yo, like we do this thing back home. Like, for example, like, a lot of my mates, like my best mates here, they're from India, like, different parts of India. When we talking about different foods and stuff, I be like, I showed them one time. I said, yo, when I get a homeboy, I want some doubles. I met some doubles here as a land, and they're like, What's doubles? and I showed them, and like, they don't call it doubles, they call it something else. But it's yeah. the same thing, but, yeah. and it's like, you know, like we got these similarities, obviously, like with their culture. But it's like you get a chance to, you know, realize you didn't know you do something or somewhere else, exactly. Kind of cool. Definitely, I think 
Sydney more than most places, if not all, has been has given that chance. It's almost as though we're in this Western bubble, been in the Caribbean and then we're surrounded by North America and then the UK, and that's where we get a lot of our influence. Yeah. But then it's when you step out and you see this it's literally like there's so much more to the world outside of all of that and living in Sydney gets provided that for you for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, so tell me about what you expected Sydney to be like versus what it was actually like. No boy, don't get mad with me because I'm just telling you facts. How you feel. Just say the thing, talk the thing. People are about in like, you know, dungarees and you out back in like, you know, driving defenders and like looking for like, you know, crocodiles and <laughs> you know what I mean, or surfing. When you back in the West, it's like when you hear Australia, you just hear giant snake found in the toilet, um, giant spider, spider sleeping next to a woman for like three days. Like, you know, <laughs> something something crazy. You just be like, yes, no, this place, true. this place is mad though. Uh, I feel like, geez, Australia is just this wild, wild, untamed, you know, place. Space, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come here and you're like, it's, it's a natural city. It's a, it's a city. Yes, yes. You know, city. like Sydney yeah. is a city. Like imagine Toronto or New York City, just on a smaller level. But there's sky rises, there's bridges, there's yeah. Plenty is prettier because plenty of water they bought. Yeah, they're not giant snakes. At least I haven't seen. Exactly, um, I haven't seen any either. Yeah, yeah. Have so, you seen any spiders? Yeah, I saw one in my room, but that was like smaller, like in the first week. Exactly. Um, and, and then another guy in my building actually had like this one huge. Huge ones, like in his bathroom. You're not supposed to say that. We're trying to encourage people to come check out. Now, still can those spiders cool me? Don't yeah, worry about it. it. Like we still good. We never had the problems. What was something you didn't expect that you learnt from yeah, coming here? And I didn't. Here? I didn't expect like Asian culture to be so mixed with Australian. Well, I don't call yeah. it Australian culture, but like in our mind, what Australian culture? Yeah. Is. It's literally like a melting pot. A lot of different cultures, yeah. which is mad cool because, like, obviously, you came from the Caribbean, it's like Caribbean is a melting pot for a lot of different cultures in the first place. Yes, and you don't really expect that when you hear Australia. When you hear Australia, you know, you just think, like I said, kangaroos, koalas, you know, some like white people in the, the outback, you know, driving in some defenders and things like that's it. People. Yeah, Aboriginal people, like, that's okay. what you get. But coming here is a completely different experience. What was the hardest thing or one of the hardest things coming over here and living here you as a caribbean person without a shadow of a doubt the three things and then there's four things mm -hmm. one is far it's far it's far here like when i tell you far as we know in barbados we say things three times like if say far 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 yes like, no like the That's first a time caribbean came, thing, yeah? oh well see like one small place one when they come here it's like 40 plus hours from the first flight three different flights 40 plus hours that was one thing it far two wow. the time difference is 15 slash 14 hours yeah. so you don't know when you're waking up people you know getting ready to go home and they chill when you get ready to chill people not waking up uh-huh want to start strike up conversation yeah want to strike up conversation two o'clock in one and then one message me <laughs> am i trying to sleep dog <laughs> three the food I ain't saying I the food here, but don't get me wrong. You got the whole bunch of different foods. If you ever want to try different foods, come to Sydney. Yeah, come to Sydney. Caribbean food. Though. Yeah. Cool. I'm still here looking for planting, you know. <laughs> I just want planting. Okay. You want basic things like fruits. Like, you know, in the Caribbean, we take it for granted that you could go on a train and pick a mango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use supermarket and mango for like $6. I like a mango for $6? Like, nah. Even if you want to buy that, right? I refuse. I refuse to buy that. Like, I, I would tell my friends here who like from different places. My man, I could go in my yard and pick one of them. Are they like, seriously? Like, my if there's a mock sport or <laughs> mango, pomegranate, but not like, I would pick it. If you go to like New York, if you go to London, if you go to any major city in the West, yeah. you probably going to find a Caribbean community that's, you know, got markets and here's a little different. There's a Caribbean community. And God know like I need them like cause, like if not for them I know what I would do here like me and listen to everybody like I uh, be big up to all the Caribbean Sydney people you know all the parties yeah when I had to drag him to go to to one party big up DJ Fasma everything my like um really make it good for me the fourth one I honestly have to say the parties so this is me. fair enough I grew up in the Caribbean you know when I get in a party it's legit I don't yeah I want my soca. Yeah, I want my dance hall. You know, but I want my RB, you know, you want bop and things. First party I land at here. People carry me to the party, right? I heard the toom, toom, toom buzz are, you know. Got little segments. It's probably the EDM segment. Whole night. 
whole night. Whole night, night at that the same beat. Whole night. That doom, doom, doom. No, at first I was just like, yeah, 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 no, it's cool. After it was like, you know what? I go home, dog. I thought you were actually gonna say one of the hardest things, you're just being uh, a cabin person, not like a black person, person of color. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Man, that was the number one thing. Like, I probably put out some from my subconscious to try to deal with this that I am. Yeah. Remember. Look. Honestly, you came here, right? You know, you heard, oh yeah, you know, black people, Sydney, so far, and you're like, black people, then you made it there. But actually going there and realizing that if you see three black people a week, you see enough. If you see th three black people a week, it got to a point, you saw black people so really that they'd be like, black person not Oh, black. yes, yeah, 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 like a black person over there. <laughs> it's like my second month I was here. Honestly, I saw them, I just went to them and was like, look, I know you don't know me, I don't know you, but I only talk to you because you're black. And like, them look at me and they're like, look, we were looking at you and we were like, we want to talk to you too, but we just didn't know what it says. Like, bro, like, yes. I understand the struggle. So, it hard. And not just being black, because then it's like, there's a pretty sizable African community here as well. Like, you know, Ghanaians, Nigerians, like Kenyans, there's a, there's a yeah. few things. So, like, Afrobeats is pretty big. But even then, it's like, you know, you don't want to necessarily just group everybody together because of skin color. You got a lot of different things in culture. You know, so like, me as a Caribbean person, the things that I know is my culture. Not necessarily gonna be seeing things like Nigerian or exactly. So just because we both black don't mean that we both. Yeah, and the way that you talk and everything is not the same. The music not the same. The food not the same. So you're going to the parties, and I mean, it's yeah, it's nice to be surrounded with people that look like you, yeah. but at the same time, it it just there's still something missing. Shifting back to Barbados, teach me something that y'all are saying Barbados. That is a very Bayesian phrase <laughs> or word, and don't tell me nothing about compliment. Uh, I'm done here. I'm tired of hearing uh, that. Daffodil kill. Daffodil kill. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yeah, the daffodil kill. What? What's the context? Daffodil kill is like, say I tell you, listen, Alyssa, when you go outside, do not catch this particular bus. Okay, it can put you in the wrong place. Yeah. Are ah, you play you big heart, but when you know your team, so man, like somebody tell me catch this bus and you catch it, and it takes you all down to Melbourne. Yeah. I would tell you, you know what? Daffodil kill. That <laughs> serves you right. Okay, I'm convinced that every Caribbean island, no matter how big or small, have this person or this people or whatever it is this character that everybody knows tell me what is or who is a bayesian character so for antigua like one we have a jack. few wait jack is yours <laughs> no i was asking you because all y'all saw was jack jack is no no no, no. <laughs> like one person like gravy yeah, yeah, this yeah, man yeah, yeah. you know gravy yeah. Call it. gravy is just he's a taxi man he have a he have a long beard he have these really long fingernails he in the heart of town and everybody know gravy but he does also be doing plenty of things for cricket like he would be in these outrageous outfits he'd go to a cricket match being a wedding gown he don't care like that's gravy everybody man jack woman child no gravy who is somebody like that for Barbados? So there's this one guy his name is well we call him ninja man <laughs> The man, yes. no, legit. This man is a feature of Bridgetown. Ninja man's wear like well, it's like outfits, dresses, and like like. So he's homeless, yeah. but he has different outfits. Yeah, it's okay. just he's just a character. Yeah, like, he's a character. Yeah. And like you know, it's not like the man don't have sense either. Like the hardest time the man went to the went to court, and the man's arguing his case strong. Like, eh, he, eh. like I was working newspaper, and the man arguing his case sensibly. Mm -mm. I like, this man clearly got sense, you know, yeah, like, obviously yeah. the man has some hard times and stuff, but, like, the man is a character. When you see Ninja Man, Ninja Man gonna be directing traffic or, like, <laughs> dancing or shadow boxing or, it just, just saying, everybody know Ninja Man. Everybody so. know Ninja Man. Alright, so what I want y'all to do is share, like, some of your Caribbean Islands, like, characters. Who are they? I'd love to hear that. Okay. The last time we we're trying, because it cut out again. But anyways, we were just wrapping up. I wanted to big up Alex because Alex packed up his bags, moved all the way here to go to school, and he thought Crocodile was going to take him to school every day, and he still did it. So I actually wanted to give big props to you for that. Is there anything you feel like you didn't get to share and you want to share? Um, Using this wonderful platform mm -hmm. for Caribbean people exploring the world, you being one of them. What I will say is not necessarily city specific. But for Caribbean people, mm -hmm. I want us to always remember, don't be afraid to explore the world. The Caribbean is a real nice place. Like, it might probably be the best place to be, to be fair. But it's a big world. Like, they got a lot of things that you can't even begin to imagine, you know, out there. They got a lot of people that you might run into, just bump into that, I could share something with you that might change yes. your way of thinking. Like, yes. So, like, you know, while the Caribbean is nice and while, you know, the U.S. and Switzerland are nice, don't ever be afraid to just do something crazy, like, you know, they say you want to pack up your bags and move to like, I don't know, Mongolia or something. Like, it's so, it sounds crazy, you know. It sounds crazy. It does, yeah. But honestly, like, you could learn a lot about yourself. And if you got that kind of like personality, then definitely do it. Oh, let's do this. 
people who are gonna say bye on audio. Just big up to Alex. Thank you so much for watching. Also, big up to Alyssa. Thank you for having me on your show. You don't big know. Big up to Global Gal. Big things coming in 2020. So, we're watching out for that. Yes. Appreciate it very much. Yes. And, yes. and the way you're saying these things, like, go hit subscribe. Oh, yeah. Click subscribe, like, awesome. comment, share. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you're beige, and comment. Wave your flag in the comments. And yeah, we just want to say thank you so much for watching and bye. See ya. Bye. Also, if you're interested in studying in Sydney, I'm signing Alex up for this, but definitely reach out to me and I can link you with him because he can answer all your questions.